Hi, welcome back. I'm Sarah James and this is Abundant Possibilities and we are working down in Cam's home office and I wanted to go over this project that I'm doing with, well, with myself, but I wanted to do this project for him. That's from a favorite quote that he has. So, he has a favorite quote, it's by Muhammad Ali, and it says, It isn't the mountains ahead to climb that wear you out, it's the pebble in your shoe. And that's one of my favorite quotes too. And for my apartment, I actually did a box where I had pebbles and everything, and I had that quote on a chalkboard wall that I have. I'll show you a picture right up here. Um, so I wanted to do the same thing for his home office, and I thought that it would be a great idea to do it for his dry erase board, because it's kind of a task board, things that you need to get done. And sometimes all those little, little things that you need to get done that you just keep you know, kind of carrying around in your shoe, that's the thing that gets you down the most. That's the thing that wears you down. So I thought that that was just an appropriate quote to have on the dry erase board. And I really love that quote. Um, and to do that, we are using, we are recycling something. What I did is just save the glass, save the frame. I painted the outside of the frame. And I use these little pegs to keep the glass in place. And these are really inexpensive. I think they're about $2 at the hardware store. They just go right into the wood. So if you want to do this project sometime at home, then this is how I'm doing it. I put these pieces right up to the glass so it would create something to keep that glass in place. Then I got a piece of plexiglass because what I'm going to do is attach the pebbles onto the plexiglass with epoxy. This is something I'm trying out for the first time. So I, I tried another method where I used a, a backer. It was um, almost like a foam backer, but because of the pebbles, I didn't use an, an epoxy to put them in, but the pebbles put more weight on, so it curved it out a little bit. So I'm trying the plexiglass, which I think it's going to be a great idea. I have it taped up. Let me show you. What I did is got a piece of plexiglass from my favorite Home Depot, and we cut it down. Here's the thing that I found with plexiglass. Almost every time, if it's a long piece of plexiglass and I've scored it and scored it and scored it and I break it, it kind of breaks off in these like little shards, 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 shards. And uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of just like clicking all these pieces off and then sanding it down and all that other stuff. So I really like to use my jigsaw. That's my favorite way of cutting plexiglass. This is all just one pass for the most part through this piece of plexiglass with both pieces, with both sides having the plastic on it still. And I just cut the jigsaw up to the end. When I do this, I've, I've experienced before, if you don't clamp it down, right where you're making the cut, if you try to clamp it down further away, then the chances are if you use a jigsaw, first of all, start it before you touch the plexiglass. Just like any other saw, you don't wanna have the saw blade on the wood and then start it necessarily. You wanna start it up and then go down. With the, with the jigsaw, you wanna do the same thing and just start it before you hit the plexiglass Make sure that it's very close to the edge of the table wherever you're making your cut. Make sure that it's close to the table, clamp down nice and securely because what will happen if not is that jigsaw is going up and down, up and down and up really fast. So it's gonna and there's a chance that your plexiglass is just gonna snap in some other way. So I'm gonna try to save you a headache there. Clamp it as close as possible to where you're gonna do the cut start the blade before you hit the plexiglass and then just go to town. Here's a fun little thing that I discovered on doing that too. It cut all the way through this, very nice and smooth. And when I went to take off the plastic and uh, take off the other side, parts of it was kind of welded together because the blade gets so hot going through here. So. Hopefully, if you're gonna cut through with the jigsaw, watch how hot your blade gets. You might wanna slow it down a little bit so it doesn't shrub so much and then melt the plexiglass. If that happens, then just do another run with the jigsaw. Easy breezy, this took about uh, like five minutes to do in total. So 
That's my favorite technique is using the jigsaw to cut through plexiglass. Maybe you'll try it too. I've, I've tried that score method before and I just, I ended up doing more work on this piece actually. I tried that first because I was like, well, let me give it another shot. And I even used my all tool for it. I was like, saw, like I did some good scoring on that. And still when I pushed it down, so I, I don't, I don't want to do that much work, but anyway, so what we're going to do, I already taped this off and I have my pebbles here. We have the epoxy, easy cast, and we have a little bucket, we have a little stir, we have some gloves. We have our pebbles. So we're gonna be putting this sign together. Like I said, this is a dry erase board. This is going to be epoxied on. All the pebbles are gonna be epoxied on. And then in the front, there's gonna be the quote that says, it isn't the mountains ahead that you climb that wear you out. It's the pebble in your shoe. We'll see how it goes. that each pebble is touching the epoxy so it stays glued because this is a really good glue that adheres to basically anything so as long as they touch it then I'm certain that they will settle and I don't have to worry about them all falling down so I'm gonna leave this now to sit overnight and come back to it in the morning see how it is and we'll go from there <laughs> 